Hey, hey. Hey you guys, it's Jeremy. Welcome back to my channel and I am back with another video for you guys today. So this video is nothing like I've ever done before. It's probably something that I didn't even actually see myself doing, but it is well needed and I am here for you guys today to inform you of what is going on. So you guys, I am here today to inform you about the plight of missing black women in the United States. So the first thing I ever heard was the fact that there are 64,000, yes, 64,000 missing black women in the United States. Like 64,000, you guys, like just think about that. That's like a whole city just gone, like a whole city of people just gone from the United States, just gone off the map. Nobody knows where they are, what happened, why it happened. That is exactly what this is like. 64,000 black women. And it's crazy because from me doing my research, I found out that the number has not changed since probably about 2012, 2011. That 64,000, that number has been the same, but nobody is talking about it. And I know you're asking, how is that possible? How is the number stays the same? Like, how hasn't it gotten more or less? Like, how is it 64,000 straight for the past five years, y'all? From doing my research, I found out and it is because of human trafficking. Yes, you guys, human trafficking. And for those of you who aren't familiar with human trafficking or only know about it from movies and things like that, y'all, it is very, very real and it's a very scary thing. So before I get into everything, I just want to read something out of my ethics book. And last week we read this. I actually had to read it out loud to the class and when I read it, it hit me and I knew that when I filmed this video, I would have to have it in there. Like it's just really important to me and I just want people to know and understand why I decided to make this video. You guys, so it's titled The Principle of Standing Up to Evil. Tolerance, as we have seen, is an important value, but it has its limits. In certain circumstances, particularly those of great injustice, it is important to speak out against wrongdoing. Think of the persecutions, tortures, and killings of the 64,000 black women in the United States. It would hardly be appropriate in the name of tolerance or multiculturalism to fail to speak out against the atrocities that have occurred. At least in some cases, take action to prevent them. You guys, that is why I'm here today, to speak out about the atrocities and to try to prevent them. I know the question that is posed is, what is human trafficking? So with that being said, I'm going to the sources. What really is human trafficking? Because people really don't know. So I am on unodc.org. It's the United Nations Office of Drugs and Crime. And their definition of human trafficking is defined as trafficking in a person's or the recruitment, transportation, transport, harboring receipt of persons by means of threat or use of force and other forms of coercion, abduction, fraud, and deception. And just having the power of a position of vulnerability and giving or receiving payments or benefits to achieve the consent of a person having control over another person for the purpose of exploitation. Exploitation shall include at a minimum the exploitation of prostitution and other forms of sexual exploitation, forced labor services, slavery, practices similar to slavery, or servitude of the removal of organs. So as you can see, human trafficking is a broad spectrum. It is not limited to sex trafficking or the harvesting of organs. You can be trafficked through a lot of things. Basically, it is you being taken and abducted and just forced to do things without your free will, your basic human rights. 
I know that most people don't really think human trafficking is real. Just They think it's just something that you see in movies. But you guys, this is something that has been happening for years upon years. These are criminals who are taking people, putting them putting their bodies on the black market, selling their body parts for profit, selling their eyes, their liver, just every part of you, they are selling it to other people. These are just criminals. This video, I'm not putting the blame on anyone, I promise you, I don't know. The criminals don't have a color. It doesn't matter. They could be any race, any gender, any ethnicity. They're criminals and all they want is money. And that is why they are doing this, for money. Like, that's crazy. Out of the 64,000 black women missing, we don't know if they're dead. We don't know if they're alive. We don't know. We just know that they're not where they're supposed to be and that is home with their families. In the upcoming week, there has been a total of over 15 missing black, missing black girls in DC alone. That is very, very high, you guys. That's crazy. And it was in the past 24 hours. So in one day, there was over 15 missing black girls in DC, Washington, DC, you guys. Like, in, in 24 hours, they're just missing, gone. Now, it's been about two days since that headline, and three of the girls have been found, and they are safe. I'm not exactly sure what was happening with their abductions. They didn't give us more information, but I promise you, I will have links on top of links on top of links below, because it is better to be aware than unaware, you guys. It is just a better to be aware. When you're aware, I feel like you, you know, in the back of your head, you think and do things a little bit differently. So that's why I'm making this video. I want you guys to be aware and I want more women to be safe and not just to be scared and afraid, okay? So we found a few of the girls and we also found them in the hands of the state police, you guys. It's crazy. They were found in the hands of police. I think two of the girls were found in police and they were being trafficked. They were being sex trafficked. I'm eternally grateful that the girls were found, but it's just really scary and unsettling to know that like police officers were the ones who were making them become prostitutes, like selling their bodies off of prostitution. Now, don't get me wrong, prostitution, that's a whole nother different thing. That is um, sex workers, and if they want to do that, that's on them. But these young girls, they were young. They were very young. They were under the age of 18, were taken in order to be sold for sex. So that's totally different. But you guys, that that's just something that we are going to have to try to stop like if you know of bad people bad cops and things like that you should speak out on it because it's saving lives it's saving the innocence like those girls they're yes they're alive but their innocence is gone it's taken and that's something that you can never get back Another huge form of trafficking is harvesting of organs. And if you want to know what your body is worth, there's a little gram of what your body is worth. So I'm going to read it off to you, okay? Your, your scalp is worth $607. A pair of eyeballs is worth $1,525. Your skull with the teeth is worth $1,000. $1,200. Your coronary artery is worth $1,525. Your shoulder is worth $500. Your heart is worth $119,000. That's a healthy heart. Your liver is worth $157,000, you guys. Your hand and forearm are worth $385. A pint of blood, $25. Um, a gallbladder is worth $1,219. Your spleen is worth $508. Stomach is worth $508. And the small intestine is worth $2,519. And you guys, a square inch of your skin 
is $10 per square inch. $10 per square inch, you guys. That though that's crazy. And that is what happens with human organ harvesting. They kill you and take all that you are and sell it on the black market. So as you guys can see, human trafficking is something that is profitable. And that is very terrible. Like it, it even hurts me to, to say those words. Like just say those words in a sentence. It just like, ugh. it just makes me feel so sick and uneasy. But the more you know, the more that you can stop. Like I just want more people to be aware. Cause I can post links all day, but are you really gonna read them? People don't like to read anymore. That's why I decided to make a video because people don't like to read. But the more you know, the more that you can stop it, the more you can prevent it, the more you can help others. All right, so with this video, I just want more people to know that there are going to be people looking at you a certain type of way just because you're a black woman and because you're healthy and also because you have organ donor stamped on your state ID or license. Now, people may think that becoming an organ donor is very, is a good thing because, you know, in case you do get into an accident and something happens to you, but your body is still functioning, you might be dead, but your body is, some of your body parts are still functioning in order to help others. Like, that's what I would think why organ donor is just something that you should do. Like, I would, I would do that, but, you know, I actually was informed so I watched parts of a documentary called Hidden Colors the only reason why I haven't watched the entire documentary is because I can only find bits and pieces of it on the internet YouTube I can't find the whole entire thing I'm still trying because I want to know I want to be informed I don't want to just be in the dark anymore like everything is just so sheltered and people aren't telling you what you really need to know about this world the bad things that happen in this world because this world is amazing it's wonderful it's good you can live out your dreams have the life that you want but there's also bad things that happen and i'd rather be informed than uninformed but there was a part that really stuck to me and it was about the fact that you're a target with human trafficking because you have the organ donor symbol on your state ID or license, you guys. Organ donor symbol. Like, you can actually be searched up and they, like, it's crazy. You can be searched because you're an organ donor and that's putting a target on your back. That is so crazy to me, you guys. Like, just think about it. When you're, I remember when I was going to get my, um, state ID because I was going to try to be try to work like I turned 16 you need a state ID before you can go ahead and work and I remember being in line like I'll definitely donate my organs like seriously I said I was like yeah that's that's a noble thing to do if something were to happen to me and my the rest of my body like I was dead but the rest of my body was you know still of use like that's something that I would want to help save other people's lives even though my life is over. That's how I was thinking at 16 years old. And now it's all changed. I'm 20 now and everything has changed. I, from the knowledge that I know, as soon as I can, I'm going to go get my stuff changed because I don't want that target on my back. Like I don't wanna be searched just because I'm an organ donor and people are gonna search and try to come and get me just because I decided to donate my organs in the case of my death like i just I, I can't understand it there is just so much running through my mind and you know i the, the type of person i am with my youtube videos i try to you know pinpoint what i'm going to talk about but in this video i can't there's just so much to talk about but i just want to inform more people so that they can just be aware and i also want to Put, shed light on the reason like there's no real reason for it I don't exactly know why this is happening to black women it's happening all over the world but it's happening at a rapid rate for black women right now and I'm not exactly sure what is going on I don't know if our organs are something I don't know what it is like it's just really sad but I just want more young black women to be informed because you are what they want you are what they're trying to sell 
in any way. They're trying to sell your body off for prostitution. They're trying to sell every part of you off on the black market. They're just trying to sell you for things that you, that just something that you definitely don't want to be a part of. So with that being said, here, I'm just gonna give you guys a few tips just to, you know, if something does happen, you can try to stop yourself, try at least. So you should definitely not go anywhere alone. I don't care if it's in daylight. I don't care what it is. Do not be alone. Do not just be out in the world alone. You need to be with someone else. I don't care if you're trying to go work out, do this, go to the store right quick. Just don't go alone. It just makes you more susceptible to violence when you're alone. They see a young black woman by themselves. They know that that's an easy target. So definitely don't be alone. Have weapons on you, whether it be pepper spray, taser, a stun gun, any of that, your keys, any sharp object, a switchblade, anything. Have a weapon on you. If someone does try to come and get you, you can at least try and protect yourself. Try to get away. And then just be aware, you guys. Be aware of your surroundings. Be aware of who's with you. Those feelings that you get when stuff is uneasy, that, that is a sign. Listen to them. Listen to them so they can protect you. Your intuition as a woman is very strong. If you feel like something's going wrong, if you feel like something's uneasy, get out of there. Don't stay where you are. Leave. Just leave. If you feel like something is wrong, you don't like it, you feel like somebody's been watching you or following you, leave get away trust those instincts your woman's intuition is very very strong trust them you guys this video was something that i definitely needed and wanted to make i just want more women to be aware of what's going on especially black women all women are targeted and it's just so sad but right now there's so many black women gone missing in the united states and it's very crazy it's very very crazy and i just feel like the more you know the more you can prevent and stop these things from happening so definitely in the description i will have links on top of links on top of links of everything well, all the information that i've gathered and tried to present to you guys if you want more information you can follow all those links that are going to be in the description or just do research on your own you guys it is okay you don't have to just learn stuff because you're in school you can learn for just basic human knowledge just just so that you know it is just so important to be aware that is just something that i'm very adamant about just be aware of what is going on in this world and don't just think that wherever whatever's going on in your life what you are what you're doing is all that is that is not the case this world is so big and we need more people to just to say stuff like just think about it there's 64,000 missing black women and what what has cnn said what has fox news said like these media outlets haven't said anything so that is where i come in and that is where you come in you start saying stuff you start letting people know word of mouth is still a very good way to get to pass on knowledge word of mouth you want to link people to this video go ahead it doesn't matter to me I just want more people to know so that more people can be aware and so that we can stop this number from increasing stop this number just stop people from going missing because of human trafficking that is the whole bias of this this video I'm not here to put the blame on anyone because like I said when I'm saying they I'm not saying a certain people I'm just saying criminals in general criminals they do not have a color they do not have a gender they are criminals they don't care they just want to use your body use what you have in order for them to gain profit and that is scary because we are not like it's just really scary you guys